So we got this tip off Sergio, who if you've watched my previous Mexico City vlogs, you'll have seen I met him up the uh, up the Latino America Tower about a week ago. He gave me this tip to come to the Church of the Lady of Guadalupe. And the ho whole area seems to have a lot of tourist stuff. I've seen a few tourists here. I think I've seen a, a school or a college on a trip here too, so it looks quite interesting. I'm excited to get up a bit closer in there and take a look. Well, so it seems to be like a big complex. I'm guessing this this here, that looks like the main, the basilica. And I don't know what the other buildings are. That's obviously, that's a big clock slash monument. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. What these two are, I'm not sure. And I don't know if you can tell from this but i would say i'm holding the camera fairly straight can you see this building here it's kind of like tilted that way like the whole thing's just kind of looks like someone's pushed it to one side a little bit it's absolutely beautiful though great little square as well there's even uh there's a statue of the pope and in the background there's another little what looks like it could be a chapel so i don't know if you have to pay to get into these places whether they're free we'll Gonna, uh, gonna go and find out. We'll head in here first. Oh, actually, we might be doing mass now. These people are standing outside looking in. There's one woman over there kneeling down. So yeah, I guess there's a service of some kind on at the moment, which is weird, it's about midday. Did he do, did he do it at midday? I've heard of midnight mass, but not midday mass. Go take a look. What I'll do is I'll go and look around the rest of the complex. We'll come back here later when hopefully it's open and have a little nosy, a little look inside. Wow, yeah, God, it's, it's huge, it's huge this. There's even like a garden bit behind it. I didn't expect it to uh, be this big. I thought it would just literally be that cathedral behind me. And there's a whole temple complex, shall we say. Oh, wow, there's another amazing looking church over there. Literally, how many did he have? How many did he need? In fact, you can see, really see the tilt of that that build, and now it's like goes that way. Wow. I wonder if it's just sinking on one side. Or well, the workmen that built it had a few too many tequilas. Who knows? This area looks like somewhere you'd find in in Barcelona. And it leads up to this beautiful church. It looks like it has some quite intricate tile work on the outside. Very Gaudi-esque, I would say. Hey, maybe, maybe you made it, I don't know. Should have probably done a bit more reading up on the, <laughs> on the site before it came. Another wonky building straight ahead. You can see this one's leaning this way a bit. Maybe the ground's not very solid underneath. Okay. feels okay for walking on that. You even got like really nice gardens, like beautifully manicured gardens as well. It's gorgeous up here. Like I say, it's so surprising because I just, I wasn't expecting any of this. And yet, here we are, treated to a whole park full of religious buildings. I think this is also nice as well with the, the waterfalls. You've got like beautiful floral arch. It quite literally feels like the stairway to heaven. It's, they've done it really well. Um, I don't know how many, oh, how many more churches there are. That kind of ended around there with them gardens, but it looks like a trail. Brings you up this hill and there's something on top. So that's where I'm heading now. And we'll see what we find when we get there. You guessed it, another church. Absolute trek, but the views, you can tell behind me, absolutely unreal. Probably couldn't get any better from the ones the other day, but this looks like it might trump them all. Wow, this is insane. Unbelievable. Just look at this.
it's quite good because it's not right in the centre, it's a little bit out unlike the other couple of towers we've been to. So you get more of a, a sweeping view of the city as opposed to kind of that 360 panorama which nothing wrong with them, it's just this is, I don't know, I think this is a really cool, cool view and it's hot as well. But easily worth the walk up here. It's just one of them places I could stay for hours. Just met a really nice guy called Miguel Larry. He took the photo for me because uh, I, I forgot my the little attachment, the to the what do you call it, smartphone clamp, to put on the top of the tripod so I could do the phone, uh, the photos myself. So he sorted me out and he was just giving me a few tips of where to go. He was from Mexico, south, just south of Texas, I think he said. Um, I don't know if you can see him, he's literally like down here in the blue shirt. Yeah, and he, he sorted me out uh, with, the, with the photo, so that was, that was really nice of him. Got a few tips of where to go, what to see. And, uh, and yeah, I'm now I'm just taking in the, some more of the views that are just mad. What, what's it remind me of? It reminds me of the Sacre Coeur in Paris, in France, and it also reminds me of, what's the place called? Parkwell. That's it, Parkwell in uh, Barcelona. Both very similar to this. We came to the one and 12, and then there's one and two, and then four and five. That's what I heard. And uh, you're allowed to go in, but it's uh, nonetheless, you're gonna stay the whole, the whole mass. How long do they last? About 30 minutes. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. We're gonna go to Xochimilco, so you're more than welcome if you wanna go with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we're just gonna go. But I want you to see this. I mean, Trump. this is something you need to see. So this is Miguel. Miguel's from northern Mexico. That's correct. Near Texas. That's right. That's why he sounds a bit American. <laughs> Thanks to a little help from Miguel, I finally went inside the Basilica and learned a little bit about it along the way. I prefer Mexico City to London. <laughs> really? It's a nicer city, yeah. <laughs> so who, who are you here with? With uh, three of my girlfriends, two friends. And uh, two of them, uh, it's the first time for them here on, you know, this. And the other one is the one I came the first time with. Here are we. We're gonna go in a bus or, or something like that. Just, don't worry, I mean, we're Mexican, so. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I only know a few Spanish words, uh -huh. like a few phrases, but not enough for like a full conversation. So I just went in this museum here, uh -huh. and I couldn't read anything. <laughs> it's all in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> so I know how to, I don't know. Where, where can I buy a ticket? Yeah. Or like, don't they pay the compra or rumba letto? And, and like, and apart from you, that, how so. are you moving through the city? I mean, are you are you metro? Uh, metro. Oh, cool. So I got the metro and walking. Okay, awesome. I've not I've not got a bus yet. Well, that's what they say. I mean, I have never seen anything, and I've been here, like I said, you know, a couple of times. Uh -huh. And they say it's dangerous, especially for a foreign person to walk around and to get into certain parts of town and all that. I really don't believe it, but. You know, I mean, you always have to be aware of. For example, even in the metro, when you're driving, right now we were in a bus, and in and, and the bus, recommendation was to take care of your your goods, you know, whatever you have. And like, if you have a backpack, you need to wear it like this. Yeah. Yep, just for safety. See for, see for me, see for me. Yeah, I, I agree with you, it's not, it's not dangerous at all. Like, I felt really safe. Like everyone's been really friendly and really nice uh, and welcoming. Yeah. Like such as you, like invite me to come to the park. Like yeah. at home, you don't get that. Like <laughs> British people are not friendly. Oh, I, I don't. I don't think. Okay. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm friendly, but especially in London, people don't care. These are two of my friends. Medium. Hi. Medium. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Some English. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, Belenice. Belenice. Tom. I'm Tom. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice we to have meet another, you. another friend. Where is she? Getting. We're going to look inside the store. Okay. Do you know why, like, this is open, but like the castle is shut, for example? Like, why are different things open? Yeah. Well, I, I really don't know. I guess because of the number of visitors and the way they control the, you know, the, you know, the entrance and the exit to, uh, of them. I don't know. A lot of this is outdoor, though, Exa isn't it? So exactly. It's not the same as being inside. Yeah. That could be it. How, how's coronavirus at home? Where you're from? It's 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 bad. 
It's, it's bad. I mean, uh, right now, it's a little bit more controlled, but they're saying that it's gonna get even worse than when it first began. So I really don't know how. Yeah. Mike, is that what we call you for short? Yeah, well, well, my friends call me Mike, so Mike. I, I like Miguel. And Carrega is my, my last name. So we're just going with Miguel now to what, what's the place we're going? Uh, we're going to. ¿Cómo se llama? Xochimilco. Xochimilco. Yeah. With his friends? Uh, Miriam. Miriam. Oh. <laughs> we just bumped into each other. So you're going to go at the metro, head down there, and then we'll check it out. It's like a. You've got these big colourful boats, so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to uh, to going on them, getting a few photos, just having a nice, but hopefully this time having a nice leisurely time on the water. Is this your first time in Mexico City? Uh, no. No? Like a tourist maybe, because I come from work or learn something. So I don't go out to learn something and to the hotel, you know. And what, what's, what's your... What, what's your work? What do you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, alternative medicine. Okay. Like, um, like aromatherapy and? Uh huh. Aromatherapy, angel therapy, all kinds of that stuff. <laughs> Reiki. Oh, cool. Like quartz. I so, like do you that. work for a company or do you have your own? My own. Oh, nice. Uh huh. What did you do for a living? So I work, I work for an airport, I do marketing. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's not good at the moment uh -huh. because obviously there's not very many flights. Uh -huh. I, was explaining to, I was explaining to Miguel before, um, at the moment, like we're, I'm on what's called furlough. So I work two days a week and the rest of the time the government pays my wages because every business has the same thing. Right. Because they can't afford to keep all the workers on. So the government pays some of your wages and the company pays some of your wages. The road to Xochimilco was a little crazy and we required the metro, a tram and a bus to get there. Fortuitously, on the way, we ended up stopping off at one thing I really wanted to see at some point in my time in Mexico City. So we just got off at this stop and I don't know if you can see through there, but a Stadio Azteca. I was hoping to go on Saturday night to watch the football, but we can't go in. Well, that looks unreal. It's huge. I think it holds like 75,000 people. Okay. Why you? They're gonna go and look at the... Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at all these jerseys. I'm so tempted to buy one, but... I don't know. I mean, that is a just. It's just such a shame we can't come to the game on Saturday because be, I'd literally be all over that. To be honest, from the outside, it doesn't look as amazing as from the inside because the, the seats are like they've got a like, massive Coca Cola branding, massive Corona branding. It's, it's an absolute palace inside the stadium. I think one of the girls is looking for a shirt. I'm not sure which, which shirt she'd buy. It. Apparently, are you Cl Club America fans? Two years ago. Wow. That's. That's so cool. <laughs> so, are you, are you buying a Club America yeah. jersey? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Which one? America. Oh, it's nice. Nice jersey. So, uh, the Mexican national team play here, but also uh, it's home to Club America, which are like the country's biggest football team and most successful. These guys are from northern Mexico and they support them, so that, that's how big they are. They have people across the country uh, supporting them. And you've got the club shop over there. I'm guessing this is like unofficial merchandise, but you know, there's, pl there's plenty of choice. Uh, there's plenty going on here. After Karima had bought her jersey, it was time to board the bus. So what is it? So how would you say it? Guero. Guero. G-U-R-O. Ah, Guero. R-O. Guero. 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 See, when, when she was taking the selfie before, I looked very white. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys. You look very well. You all have nice tans. You, you, look, you look very well. Very well. Someone asked me before if I was from Sweden. Uh -huh. So well, they, they thought I looked like I was from Sweden. <laughs> I asked um, 
Miguel, Miguel the fourth, Miguel. to take a photo of me. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I remember. And then he saw me down there by the cathedral and said, oh, do you want to come with us? And I was like, yeah, okay, why not, why not? It'd be fun. <laughs> It's been an adventure. Yes, I know. I know how it's like. <laughs> so, people like foreign people don't really get the bus. Okay. Is she surprised to see me on the bus? That we make uh, friendships. Ah, okay. that's, that's why. It's, beca it's because Mexican people are so friendly and nice. <laughs> it's not as easy. It's not as easy in the in the UK. But everyone here, they're like, oh yeah, let's go for a drink, let's go and see this, let's do this. And everyone's so nice. Interesting. And I'm but learning new words like bottle. Even if you are a tourist, they don't treat you like uh, friendly or family. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's no that maybe they ashamed of you that, oh, poor guy, let's tell him before, <laughs> where to go or where to have fun, no? Because, not literally, everyone's just being like really nice, like um, I, before I arrived, I was looking on the internet and people said it's very dangerous, mm -hmm. and be I know, careful I know. of people, mm -hmm. but everyone's just so nice, mm -hmm. and friendly, like I'm happy to, like I don't know you guys, but, but you're so nice, I was just like, you're so friendly, I thought, yeah, it's going to be a good adventure, so I thought, why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? We think like that always. Why not? It's better to remember what what happened. So, that you say what? Well, we don't believe. Gracias. Gracias. Oh, it's nice and cool out here. Yeah. It's hot on the bus. We were finally in the neighbourhood of Xochimilco, ready to spend a couple of hours on one of its colourful boats sailing down its famous canals. But what I thought would be a chilled afternoon turned into one of the wildest days of my travels, so make sure you stay tuned for the next vlog and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.